My Smart Tech TV. My name is Jess and I'm your host. And this week I'm joined by Mark Cotunato, who is the CEO and chairman at Space Talk. Welcome, Mark. Thank you for having me on the show, Jessica. Now, Mark, Space Talk is an Australian based company and one of the world's leading brands when it comes to smartwatches for kids. Uh, the first question or the first thing I want to discuss is privacy and data privacy. When it comes to tracking service companies like Space Talk, there has been a lot of, of discussion around privacy and in particular the sale of user data. Space Talk sells to kids and families. Can you talk me through whether Space Talk sells user data and I suppose what your thoughts are on this? Well, it's uh, unfortunately there have been some recent um, high profile situations where it's been discovered that companies purporting to do one thing actually end up doing something else. Um, so uh, just by way of background, um, whilst we're a leading wearable, kids wearable company at the moment, um, our origins uh, started over 20 years ago with a company that back then was called MGM Wireless and with a company that discovered the use of text messaging in schools uh, to allow schools to rapidly notify parents if their kids hadn't arrived as expected. As a result of that, we learned a great deal about the need for privacy when you're dealing with children. Um, should the obligations that a supplier has, in particular a technology a provider has, is to they go well beyond the new, normal commercial type of arrangements that you'd find in other markets. So the company must keep the data, the privacy, uh, the data, the details, uh, not just secure, but private as well. Um, we've had lots of situations where we've been contacted by police to try to find missing kids. Um, we've had situations there have been custody orders, all sorts of things. Um, and also, if this information gets into the wrong hands, it can be very, very harmful for kids from, from a cyber bullying um, and those types of nasty situations. So, when you're dealing with the with kids and families, the need for privacy um, and data security is paramount. Um, just to give you another example, um, if you have a situation where there's a separated family and if the separation is acrimonious, um, often the systems need to keep the conversations between the child and one part, one parent and the other parent separated. Um, and then when you have situations where those parents have then have new partners and new families and you have an extended family situations, the need for privacy gets extremely complex very quickly. Um, so as a result of all these learnings um, and experiences, we've built these learnings into our Space Talk platform um, from ground up. Um, so it wasn't a tacked on afterthought. Uh, we knew to truly solve the issues and problems families have in communicating with each other, especially modern families, today's families, you need to build this in from ground up. So we have all of these different ways of keeping conversations and data and location details private so that the right parent can look after the child without sharing that with other partners or other extended family members and data security. Um, so from ground up, from day one, from ground up, We've incorporated the very best technology to keep the data secure. Um, and in fact, along the way, we've conducted four independent cybersecurity audits of our systems to ensure that we're always as tight as, uh, as, as possibly can be. That's great. That would be very, very reassuring for parents as well. And you're right, when it comes to kids, it's, it's super important to keep keep that data private. Um, now, Space Talk recently appointed Martin uh, Derbyshire as the chief design officer. He has got a fantastic history as being a founder of Tangerine and an early advisor to Apple. Tell me what this means for Space Talk. Well, what it means, we have uh, arguably the best or one of the best industrial designers with a strong track record in mobile consumer electronics and now contributing and, uh, and, and um, uh, driving the company forward to provide the very best designs, industrial designs and user experiences for our customers. Um, and this really transcends way beyond just the industrial design. Um, uh, being a chief design officer really encompasses uh, providing uh, and designing the very best experiences 
for our customers, which of course is well beyond the industrial designs. It's how the customer and how the market bonds and what type of uh, emotional affinity um, they may uh, develop or instantly uh, feel uh, when they see the brand. Um, and uh, this really, it's great to have uh, Martin as part, formerly as part of the team, but in fact, Martin's been working with the company for about uh, three years now. Um, um, he, we, we engaged his services, his company services with one-off projects and over time, he's become more and more involved um, and uh, we're absolutely thrilled to have him as formerly as part of the executive team now, um, steering the ship, so to speak, and providing and designing these amazing user experiences. Um, I don't know if you know, Martin's got an incredibly interesting uh, history. Uh, when um, Steve Jobs, obviously the founder of Apple, was looking to create these amazing experiences, uh, designer experiences for Apple. Um, uh, Steve actually sought out and uh, hired Martin and his firm um, wow. to do that work on the iPhone and uh, iPad and other devices. And uh, Tangerine has a stellar track record of producing the most amazing um, industrial designers globally for many decades now. And so we're just absolutely over the moon and thrilled to have him formally part of Space Dog. That's great. Well, maybe we'll be lucky enough to interview him as well one day. Um, switching gears a little bit from, I suppose, the, 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 to the software side of things, can you talk me through Space Talk, the, the software, and in particular, some of the feature updates that have taken place recently? Um, since we launched uh, about uh, well, in 2017, it's well over 400 new announce, uh, enhancements that we've delivered to our customers. Um, some of the newest ones are more about the delivering engaging um, user experiences um, and safety features. So one of the really nice ones from a safety point of view is that um, parents can now tell whether their child is actually wearing their watch. Um, sometimes kids take their watch off, especially if they're very young kids, and they take it off and put it in their bag. Well, that will now um, be picked up um, by our system. So um, the, um, the uh, parent can see whether the child's been wearing the watch or is it in their bag or somewhere else. They can actually also find the watch. So if the child uh, takes it off and uh, or leaves it at grandma's house or that type of thing, you can be instantly located uh, through the, the GPS settings and also through an alarm. So it'll you know, find it on a map. Um, another really cool feature is the uh, radar or find uh, or mates or buddies feature. Um, so the way that works is that the child can spin up a uh, radar on their um, Space Talk watch and now that will locate all the other kids nearby that have space talks um, and then they can request to connect and become buddies um, and of course uh, the parents on each of each child need to accept um, and give permission for the kids to hook up and be buddies and then um, as long as the watch is in on school mode when they're, they're at school um, they can text each other and make phone calls and um, chat and exchange pictures and do all sorts of different you know, really cool things. That's great. And yeah, you can tell that it's all been really designed with the parents in mind, obviously, and just having that um, ability to check over things and just this, the, the peace of mind that would come from having a product like this. And I love as well that you've also got the ones for, for seniors. And mm. um, yeah, I mean, I was even when I was looking at your website, my mum's not there yet. But when she is, I was like, that's so cool that you could know, you know, and having that that peace of mind, knowing if they fall over or something bad happens, that you're able to, to, to find out before. Because, you know, when things go wrong, it's usually when people are left unattended or they've had a fall and, you know, it's not been dealt with immediately. So you're really saving lives. So it's an incredible product. What, what's in the future for Space Talk? Well, from the, uh, we are a leading um, brand in the connected kids wearables sector and we're growing extremely fast. For the last three years now, um, we've grown at a compound rate of between 45 and 50%, which is amazing. Um, so awesome. we uh, expect to achieve that and more moving forward. Um, the market for connected kids wearables and connected seniors wearables is huge. Um, it's for kids alone in the Western world, it's estimated to be about 70 million. Um, the industry is in its infancy. Uh, uh, we're arguably the number one brand globally, um, but uh, the, the current leading brands um, collectively, their sales wouldn't be more than about half a million units a year. Um, so there's tremendous, tremendous, exciting growth ahead for all of us. Um, 
and you'll see a lot of new functionality coming out. Um, um, software functionality, really cool, engaging functionality, but always, always, even when it comes to space talk, under parental control. Mm. So the parents totally control and have final say of how the child engages with the device. Um, as we know, these devices um, are very cool, very nice to use, um, but they need to be used um, in the appropriate way. So they become, a, they enhance the child's development and curiosity in the world um, without becoming um, addictive. Now we don't have any access to open internet, no YouTube, no social media, none of that. Um, and we never will, but there are lots of other fantastic experiences that a child can have. Uh, and we're building them and they'll be released later this year that will you know, really open the child's mind and the, and curiosity and develop their um, develop them um, all under parental control. But also the parent will be able to see in which way the child's developing and then support that development. You know, a really interesting thing being in the tech world is that uh, a lot of developers, um, software developers, you know, all of them really are very good at mathematics. Um, but what parents often don't realize that if a child, if their child is good at mathematics, they're probably going to very will be very good at music as well. Um, mm. And a lot of developers uh, are really good at music. They play instruments and uh, they're really into music. But unfortunately, parents don't always know to pick that up. Um, so these are the type of things that you'll see Space Talk come out with to support and make parents aware of how to develop their child. That's amazing. And you mentioned your 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 um, background in software development. What what is your background, Mark? I'm curious to know. You mean my personal background? That yeah, your background. Yeah. Well, I'm the founder um, of yeah. uh, Space Talk, or really, as the company was called um, in its foundings, MGM Wireless. Uh, MGM Wireless is still going. It's uh, actually uh, we still look after about 1,400 schools in Australia and New Zealand, um, where, where MGM is the uh, is the um, uh, uh, approved and um, preferred supplier to many education departments around Australia for COVID, for student absences and other emergencies. Um, but it's really interesting how we got into wearables, um, is that uh, when a parent gets a text message that the child hasn't arrived to school, normally the very next question they ask is, Where are they? That's it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and trying to solve that problem over many years, we built lots of different apps and one thing or another. One day, after about three years trying to solve that problem, uh, the light bulb moment went off and we realized what we really need is an all-in-one smartphone watch and GPS device. Now, this was by, way back in 2013. Um, and you know, we're a small software company and trying to embark on such a crazy, ambitious project uh, was ridiculous. But obviously, we did. We gave it a go. And after about three or four years, we managed to uh, come up with our first device, which was not good enough. We weren't happy with it. It wasn't reliable enough. So we scrapped it in a very dejected, depressed manner. We let it go for about six months and we tried again. And there's a whole really interesting background story to this, but we got there obviously in the end. Yeah, well, it sounds like you're having incredible growth. So congratulations. For people listening, where can they find out more? Spacetalkwatch.com. Just look it up, search it up, or just search up Space Talk. Um, on uh, through Google or any of the search engines and you'll see lots of information there. Fantastic. And we'll also link that in the show notes. Is there anything I've missed? Any parting words? Well, uh, I think um, if you're an investor, um, you should really think about it that um, Space Talk is a leading brand, arguably the number one brand in this space. Um, you know, the industry collectively selling probably about half a million watches uh, with their market size of 70 million so it's a uh, hell of an opportunity to really for investors to jump on very early with the number one brand um, that's growing super fast, very well run, very good track record, a public company where no matter what size investor you may or may not be, you can, you can invest and participate in a value creation that's been developed along the way. Fantastic. Well, Mark, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Um, best of luck with everything. And yeah, thanks again. Thank you for having me on the show, Jessica.